And actually his birthday was the first day we started noticing symptoms and what happened was he started having to drink a lot of water all the time and I really noticed that because usually we have to fight to get him to drink just a little bit of water and all of a sudden he was wanting to drink like a quart of water and then he would finish it and say I'm so thirsty I want more and so we thought that was a little bit odd and um, then of course he started having to use the bathroom a lot and wake up in the middle of the night and drink more and use the bathroom more and at the same time he was very moody and um, he was starting to have like crazy mood swings like he'd get out of school and he'd cry about like one day he started crying because his lips were chapped I mean stuff that normally he doesn't even care about he doesn't even notice and all of a sudden it was a big deal and so I started getting worried and um, so it was time for his annual checkup and so I made an appointment she just checked the urine and kind of got a puzzled look on her face and said you know what I want to do a little blood test real fast so she did the finger prick and she asked Diego to leave the room and told, told me that he had diabetes and that we had to come straight to the hospital in Diego's case, he presented and came to the hospital very early on. His symptoms were mild. Diego's parents did a great job recognizing his symptoms early on. I was like really mad because like I've heard of diabetes, like they've been having a lot of charities for it and you do that charity it means like it has to be at least really serious. So I thought it was going to be like extremely bad the most part, um, like I was really mad at myself because I didn't like exactly know why I got it to, but I was just really shocked, like I was speechless, really. Like Sarah, I was extremely shocked because that was the first thing on my mind. Uh, he's about the healthiest kid that I could think of. This kid runs like a horse and strong. And very active. Um, for my diet, like, it's been actually a little harder for me because I was used to, like, going in the kitchen, kind of eating what I want. Now that I have to check my sugar, I have to do the calculation, do my insulin. Oh, it's kind of getting in my way a little bit because sometimes I just need to eat, like, right away sometimes. We're accepting it. We have to, you have to accept it. You don't have a choice. And I think, you know, you just, have to realize that life is going to be different and in some ways it's probably going to be better and in other ways it's not and you know I think one really positive thing with Diego is that he's just matured a lot. And I just started soccer and baseball and the only difference basically with soccer and baseball, well at least baseball, um, that I would have to check my sugar, like I would have to know how I was feeling, like I won't get distracted by anything because um, for my, so my, to make sure my sugar is not low because when you exercise it goes lower. So as long as Diego takes good care of his diabetes, as long as he's taking his insulin the way the endocrinologist recommends it, as long as he's checking his blood sugars and managing his disease, then his limitations should be none. He should have no physical limitations. He should be able to do anything he wants to with his life. Uh, when I grow up, I'm not exactly sure, but at least be an athlete, maybe ba um, basketball or baseball, um, which would be actually kind of fine for me because since I already play sports, I know how it's going to be like. Like It's not going to be like a big, big difference for me.